Okay, let's talk laundry. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about laundry. This is something that a lot of you wanted to see. I'm really excited to do. Even though laundry is my very least favorite household chore, it's something that I do not keep up on with well, but I do have a few tips and tricks of how I fold it efficiently and get it all put away that I thought would be fun to share with you guys. So basically I'm going to be giving away my number one laundry folding tip right out of the gate but make sure you stay tuned until the very end to see how you can enter into a fun little giveaway I decided to do. I thought it would be really cool because it totally coincides with what this video is about. So make sure you watch until the end to find out how you can enter into that giveaway. Okay, so getting right into it, my number one tip is to sort your laundry before you fold it. Now this might kind of seem a little bit silly because you probably just sorted it to wash it all, but now I have it all in this one big pile here and I have found that by sorting it into piles before I actually dive into folding streamlines the process a whole lot. It kind of helps me to organize my thoughts, where things go, and if I can't get to one section, let's say the kids, because something was up or I have to cook dinner or one of the kids wakes up from a nap, whatever it is, I just have that section of laundry and I know in my head, okay, I just didn't get to the kids, I can do that later, or the towels, which is usually super easy, I usually save that for last anyway, but by sorting it, it really has helped me streamline the process. So let me explain what I do. I take my big pile of laundry, like I have here, this is um, two or three different loads. I did a load of darks, a load of lights, and then a load that had like towels and our backpack that we use as our diaper bag, the kids high chair cover, so a bunch of stuff was in there. But basically what I do is I sort it into a couple of different categories. The first category being anything that hangs. So all of Thaddeus's work shirts, anything, you know, work pants or sweaters like this one, I will take them and I will drape them over a basket, over the couch, and just kind of make a pile of everything that needs to hang. The second category, and this I use baskets for, so I have two baskets here. One of them is going to be towels, washcloths, hand towels, bath towels, um, bath mats, bibs, swaddles, linens, anything that is in that towel category, as far as I'm concerned, will go into this basket. This basket is my favorite to fold, so I always save it for last because it kind of gives me something to look forward to at the end of the folding saga. The second one is I always use one for the kids because they have socks and little pieces and you know bloomers and little shorts and stuff, so I just find it easier to put all of the kids stuff into a basket as well. And usually this is kind of the first thing that I do, especially the towels because they're usually bigger and easier for me to pick out. Here's a tiny little sock that goes in the basket. Um, so I just kind of go through the pile and I pick out all of the things that fit those categories and I will organize them. So I'm going to do that really quick. Okay, so once I have most of that stuff picked out, I think I did a pretty good job and I realized as I was filming that that I should have mentioned my other two categories before, or I guess there's really three is the other two or three piles that I make are adult t-shirts, shirts, workout shirts, adult shorts, pajama pants, workout pants, leggings, all of that stuff goes into a pile, and then you know socks, boxers, underwear, that type of thing. So those are the other couple of piles that I'll make. So I have my basket here with all the kids' clothes. This basket I'll push over that has all the towels in it. Okay, so now as you can see, I divvied out all of my laundry into small manageable piles. So now I can just attack one at a time until it's all done and it honestly makes the process go so much smoother. So the first pile that I usually fold is the adult pants pile, which is over here. It's usually the biggest and gives me a good foundation for stacking stuff into baskets to take them upstairs later. So I'm going to grab out all of my jeans and stuff. For some reason, this load of laundry has a lot of them. The way that I usually do my jeans is I do hang them in my closet, but for the purpose of laundry folding, I don't put them in the hanging pile. I don't really know why. I like to fold them first, and then once I get upstairs, I unfold them and hang them in my closet. 
I don't know why, this is totally an unnecessary step, but it's something that I do. So all of my pants, anything that's ankle length or longer, same thing with Thaddeus's, I fold them in half, you know, waist to waist. I lay them out and then I fold them in thirds. And I am the type of person who takes the extra time to like smooth out wrinkles, unroll anything that's, you know, cuffed or anything like that. So I'm going to do that. And then I fold the ankles up to pretty much like the butt area. And then I fold them in another third. So then it ends up like this. And then as I continue to fold, I stack them waistband to waistband. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with anything ankle length or longer. Okay, so now that all of the long stuff is folded, I move on to shorts. And I do have two different piles going here. This is bad stuff and this is my stuff. So I also do tend to, you know, make additional piles while I'm folding. So I'm going to move on to shorts, workout shorts, that type of thing, pajama shorts. Um, so these are a pair of Thaddeus's workout shorts. And what I do is I just fold them waistband to waistband. And for his, I actually fold them in half um, waistband to the end of the pant leg. And that's just because I find that they fit in his drawer better like that. For some reason, my workout shorts, like this pair here, all I do is fold them waistband to waistband. I give them a shake and I lay them out and then I'll find another pair of these like pajama shorts, waistband to waistband and I rotate the waistband. Could I say waistband anymore? I rotate them top to bottom. Again, I find that they lay in the drawer flatter and then I'll just add that to each of our stacks. So I do fold both of our shorts differently. Here's another pair of Thad's workout shorts, waistband to waistband and then waistband to bottom of the pant, and I rotate that, and I just continue doing it that way. So there you have it, all of the adult pants are folded. If I wasn't talking through this, that probably would have taken me less than five minutes, but I just find that the sorting before I fold totally streamlines the process because in the past I would have sat here with a huge load of laundry in front of me and I would have been picking out and choosing all of the things that I felt like I wanted to fold and it just seemed like the pile never got smaller. But now I just accomplished one pile of laundry, boom, it's done, I can move on to the next. So I find that super easy. So what I'm gonna do is just stack my pants on top of Thad's. Now we have a nice stack of folded pants. Move that to the side here. And I'm going to move on to shirts, which luckily this pile is super small today. Um, shirts is something I'm very particular on when I fold them. So I'll just show you really quick and then I'll just speed through this. But I pretty much hold them upside down with the face out. Literally, there's a face on this shirt. Haha, -ha, face out. So I'm going to hold it upside down like this and I fold them. I almost said waistband again. I fold them bottom corner of the shirt to bottom corner of the shirt keeping the face of the shirt out. Then I'm going to lay it with the sleeves up towards me. I hope you can see this whole thing. Then I just, you know, fix the collar, straighten out the sleeves, which this shirt like just pretty much folded itself. Then I tuck the, ha the hands. Then I tuck the sleeves in. I am a mess right now. And I fold it in thirds. So I'm going to fold it about halfway down and then in thirds. And so that just gives me a super nice square, I love squares, piece of clothing that just goes into the drawer. And sometimes I do rotate these depending on how much laundry there is. Today there's not really that much. And so I'm just going to stack them like normal. But the sleeves part definitely does bulk up a little bit, kind of like the waistband of pants. And so sometimes I will rotate them, but not always. I'm probably not going to today. So here's another quick example, another one of Thad shirts. I'm going to hold it face front, fold it corner to corner, lay it out in front of me, straighten out the top, make sure the arms are nice and flat. And I'm going to fold in the sleeves, fold it down a third, and in third again. Okay, so tank tops, 
I'm not super particular about these, but I guess I do have a method. I grab them at the armpit and start to drop the neck backwards until I have it about halfway down. And then I just fold it in half to cover up that top part and then in half again. And so again, it's a square and that just makes me happy. So that's how I fold my tank tops. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to move on to is socks, bras, underwear. I feel like everyone has their own way of doing that, so I'm just going to fold these really quickly and then we'll move on to the kids' clothes. Okay, so moving right along. Now that all the adult stuff is done, I'm going to move on to the kids' laundry. And this is definitely my least favorite basket to do. It's I just don't like folding kids' laundry, okay? It's small, it's annoying, but I do have a way to do it that makes it less miserable for me, and I'm going to show you that right now. So, I definitely make piles as I'm folding of Ava's clothes, Zan's clothes, and Eli's clothes. Pajamas are my favorite, so I always pick those out first. So here I have a pair of Zan's pajamas. So the way that I fold these is I make sure that they're zipped all the way up, and then I lay it down, face down, so zipper side down onto the carpet. Let me move back so you can see. Okay, so from here, what I do is I fold in the arms, fold them in, kind of crisscross them on top of each other, and then I take the feet and I bring them all the way up to the shoulders, and then I fold it down from the top in thirds. So this is what it turns out looking like. I do this, and then what I do again, kind of like the pants, is I flip them back and forth. That way they just stack nicely and they go into a drawer really well. got carried away folding all the kids clothes that I didn't really talk through the rest of how I do it. Same thing with shorts. I just take them from the top and I fold waistband to waistband the exact same way. I do find things like jeans, um, especially like little boy jeans for some reason, they fold better inside out. Does anyone else find that? I feel like they just don't fold right like this. So I always fold pants like this with the ties coming outwards and then in half just like a regular pair of pants. I don't fold them in thirds like I do the adult pants because they're so much smaller. And then something like shirts, I fold them the exact same way that I fold the adult shirts. And then let's show a onesie, which is another big kid item. I always do the two bottom snaps. I leave the middle one undone. I just find that they fold better like that. And then I literally just fold them in half and I rotate those as well. So I just fold it in half like this. And I lay that, and that usually goes on the bottom of my stack. So now that I have all of the adult clothes folded, all of the kids' clothes folded, I'm going to take a basket, and I'm going to stack everything in a basket to take upstairs. So now the very last thing I have to do is fold the towels. This is my very favorite basket to fold, so I'm going to do that really quick. Okay, I realize that my head is cut out here a little bit. The way that I fold my towels is um, not super particular. I do fold them in thirds like a lot of my other things. So I just fold it top to bottom in half exactly, and from there I fold them in half again. And then I lay them down so that all of the four corners are towards me, and I fold them in thirds. That way all of the, you know, corners are kind of tucked in, and I just stack them on my shelves like this so that there's a nice band on the outside. It looks nice for guests, and yeah, that's how I fold my towels. towels, I feel like I have to duck down, hand towels I lay out flat and I fold them in thirds, so the two corners kind of into each other in the middle, and then just right down the top. I like to hang them like this, and again when I stack them on the shelf it just makes it easy to have the edge out like that. 
Okay, the very last thing are washcloths. These are, you know, what I use in the kitchen. Pretty self-explanatory. I just fold them in half and half again, and I stack them. I put them in a kitchen drawer. I do tend to make sure that all of the edges that are not open are facing towards me. Again, so that they're easy to pick up out of a drawer. Okay, towels folded. So now anything that goes upstairs, I'm just going to put into this basket. Anything that's for the kitchen, I'm going to go ahead and take that over there now. This goes downstairs to our guest bathroom. So I'm gonna go and move all that stuff and then I'll be right back. Okay, so there you have it. All of my laundry is folded and ready to be taken upstairs and put away where it belongs. I hope that some of you found this helpful. Like I said before, it's really streamlined my process. That initial step of just sorting all of the laundry into smaller different piles has really, really changed the game for me. I hope that you can incorporate this into your laundry folding routine and also leave down below what your favorite laundry folding technique is if you have a specific thing that you do. Laundry, like I said, is my very least favorite thing to do so anything that I can do to make it a little bit more enjoyable is much appreciated okay so if you made it to the end of the video thank you so much here's what I'm giving away in this giveaway and here is how you can enter to win if you watch my extreme clean with me video you would have seen me putting some laundry into the dryer and then I take this little dropper bottle here and I drop a couple of drops of essential oils onto my wool dryer balls so by winning the giveaway one lucky winner is going to get six not three I can't hold six of them. Six of my very favorite organic wool dryer balls, as well as a little sample size in a cute little glass dropper of my very favorite fall scent that I've been putting on all of my laundry. All you have to do to enter this giveaway, be subscribed, give me a thumbs up, head on over to Instagram, tell me what your very favorite fall festivity is, and tag a friend on this giveaway picture with the dryer balls, and you will be entered to win. I'll be announcing the winner next Monday, October 5th, on my Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful in any way, maybe to streamline your laundry folding process or to give you the motivation to get that laundry out of the dryer that we all know has been sitting there for a couple of days and get it folded. Yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for watching.